Am I recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Uh, suppose for a moment that you are an aging hipster. Uh, let's also suppose that um, being an aging hipster makes you feel somewhat disconnected from uh, your youth as a Appalachian hillbilly. And your roommate and your partner are out of town, and so you've decided to make some Appalachian hillbilly food, but you only have uh, upper middle class hipster ingredients, uh, then this would be how you would make kilt greens. Um, so I got some bacon, which is pretty close to done, because I'm, again, uh, a hipster of means. This is some fancy... Uh, Black Forest bacon, um, which actually maybe isn't that different from uh, nice bacon or fat back that I might have had as a youth. Bacon has gotten crappier as I have gotten uh, richer. Uh, you'll notice it's pretty foamy, so this is pretty close to done. While that goes to the last little Second, I've got just some random salad greens that I've got here. I'm shooting with my right hand and with my holding the tongs with my left hand, so I apologize. Ordinarily, this would be greens from your garden, uh, but I don't have a garden. And it might be, uh, you know, uh, white onion or uh, vidalia if you're very lucky. I've just got some shallot. So this is like half a shallot and some random greens. And again, because I'm fancy, I'm going to be using... Uh, apple cider vinegar, which is a little unusual. Now, ordinarily, this might be uh, fat back, but I don't actually care for fat back and don't have any handy, so we're going to go with the bacon. I'm going to pull this bacon before it burns. Let's use this. This is tricky because, again, I'm... Uh, doing this one-handed. You'll notice that I've not got any paper towels or anything here to drain the bacon. And that's because uh, I don't actually want it to get too crispy. And also because I want all the fat. I need all the fat here. We're going to use this hot fat that we have reserved to kilt or wilt, or kill, depending on what, you know, region of Appalachia you're from, our greens. And if you think about it, what we're really just making is a hot, non-emulsified vinaigrette. So I'm going to crank the heat up. Um, ordinarily, you might get this to smoking. I'm not actually going to quite go that far. You know, again, personal taste. I don't want to totally wilt these guys. We're gonna let that crank up just a little bit. And my partners would probably be upset about you seeing all this recycling we have over here and making it look like garbage, but I assure you that is all uh, recycling that is yet to be taken out. I've also got to crack some black pepper in here. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my vinegar. There's plenty of salt in the bacon, but there's also plenty of greens in the bowl, so we're going to add some additional salt. I'm going to use tongs. Uh, you can use a big fork, but I have never successfully done so. I've always burned it, and I've never found the fat to quite cut the greens as evenly. So this is going to be the tricky part, doing this one-handed. Actually, I am smoking, so let's go ahead and cut the heat. And just apply. Yeah, it's a lot of fat, and we're going to use all of it. Um, apply that. And then we are going to, as quickly as possible, toss our greens in our shallot, which will wilt and slightly cook. It will mellow the shallot a little bit. You'll notice that our greens are rapidly falling apart, but they're not becoming like sautéed. Right, the heat's not lasting long enough to take it that far. It smells great. The apple cider vinegar hits. Um, this is still going to be warm, but it is not going to be ripping hot. Let's taste it for seasoning real quick. 
That's really pretty good. Tiny pinch of salt. And I want, ordinarily you would eat your, your fat backer bacon kind of on the, sa the side, but I want it in my salad. I'm gonna toss that. Some crispy bits, some maybe fattier, chewier bits, some nice textural contrast and meatiness. You can also see the remnants of my pizza making all over the, the counter and having pizza for dinner tonight. Um, so that's it. Kilt greens. Uh, I used to have this with spinach when I was a kid. I think never my parents, I don't remember my parents making it, but um, we would stay with friends of theirs, Todd and Melanie. Shout out to them. And they made kilt greens with spinach, I think, a couple times. And it's just something I've been craving. And uh, our housemate is pescatarian, so we don't usually eat like this. So there you have it. Uh, hipster nostalgia for poverty. Because it's delicious. Um, I'm going to go reconnect with my youth and my spiritual origins and have some complex feelings about aging and relocating uh, over lunch. Uh, you do you.